from Holland, Michigan. So this is the largest tulip festival in the United States. Here in Centennial Park, you're gonna notice a lot of people. This seems to be the center of where everybody's hanging out here today for the Tulip Festival. And you can see that this park is basically covered in tulips. I mean, there's obviously some place for, places where you can walk and stuff, but yeah, there's tulips everywhere. And in the entire town, there's about six million. So that's pretty cool. I'm genuinely surprised at how many people actually are here on a Tuesday at three o'clock. I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like on Saturday or Sunday, yeah. especially as this festival is wrapping up and everybody's trying to get here in a hurry to see the last of it. So here's something I've never seen before, and it's called a fat ball. Apparently, this is a pastry of some kind that has different types of filling stuff inside of it. So you could ask for cherry or custard or apple, and that's what I got, I got apple. So I'm gonna definitely try it and see what it tastes like. Let's see. So these are all homemade. Mmm, the apple's really good. Let me try the pastry. There's no easy way to eat this, unfortunately. Oh man, oh boy. Very messy, very good. we're checking out for food here is Big Lake Brewing and I ordered the Dutch Stam Hot which is like a smoked sausage it's got apples it's got mashed potatoes it looks incredible and Mariana ordered the the Kib Kibberling, Kibberling which is like yeah it's like fish and chips of some kind so yeah, like a Dutch fish and chips they also as the name implies this is a brewery so they got a lot of different kind of beers and stuff I ended up with a cherry cider and um, we're working on our second or third beer in a couple of minutes here, but um, go ahead and give this a shot, so let's take a shot. Taste test. It looks very hearty. Mm. That is very hearty. Always have to have the lemon juice on there. So let's try the fish without any sauce. Mm. Light, fluffy, very fresh. Let's try with some sauce. <laughs> you can never go wrong with fish and chips anywhere, but these fries though, these fries look really good. I mean, this is the most classic summer meal. Fish, chips, and beer. I mean, come on. So we decided to visit Holland, Michigan on a Tuesday of the first week of the festival. And like, you wouldn't expect too many people just eating at the Great Lakes. We had to wait 20 minutes on a Tuesday noon just to go get some beer and food. So do not come here on the weekends because it is going to be packed. There's plenty of parking and most of it is free. I would recommend driving here because there are a few spots around the town to visit which you do have to drive to. But it is very busy for such a very small town. It looks like somebody took Amsterdam and just shrunk it down into a tiny little village. <laughs> do you fit? Barely. I think I sat on a nail. <laughs> oh my god. So about six minutes drive from downtown Holland, Michigan, you're gonna find Nilas Nellis Village. It's a cute little village. Uh, it's supposed to replicate like a Dutch village on a festival. Is that what she said? Yeah, like if a festival came to town in the Netherlands, that's what this is supposed to look like. So this village during the Tulip Festival is open until 7 p.m. So don't look what Google Maps says. It is open year round, except from September to April, it is closed. Parking is free. Uh, the ticket's admission is $15 for each adult. So they have a bunch of little shops here. They have gift uh, stores. They have a lot of rides. They have a petting zoo, which you know I have to find like in the, when we were in Houston. You can probably spend easily two hours just walking around and exploring here. this is for kids oh no oh I feel his chin hairs chin hair he's got chin hair like Atlas unfortunately we couldn't bring Atlas today it's a little too hot for him even though it's May but it's already 88 today outside
can actually go inside of the chicken, uh, the chicken, chicken coop, coop there yeah. in English. Oh my God, there's a chicken. Look at his foot, it's so fluffy. <laughs> now how do I get through there? Let's see, if he'll move. Can Roosters. We go, can we go through there? Yeah. So this is all inside the Nilus village. You can just check this out. genuinely feels like they took all of Netherlands and just shrunk it onto a tiny little town in the USA. So they have a similar bridge like this. You're supposed to go kiss on it for good luck. We did it when we were in Amsterdam, so we gotta do it here too. So we're just checking out this place. I think it's probably gonna be the most Instagram worthy place in all of Michigan. The amount of people here, especially during sunset right now, is insane. So admission here is, I believe it was $13 a person. And you can just walk around, take as many pictures as you want and have fun, but it is packed. Keep in mind, this is a Tuesday. worth coming out to? I would say yes. Vern? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the flowers, they're beautiful enough, but the rest of the charming aspect of the town, like the little shops, the little tiny amusement parks that are modeled after a real town in the Netherlands, all of that kind of makes it worth it. It's not just the tulips, even though you're gonna see Tulip Festival, there's yeah. more to it than that. But it's really fun. I mean, just the flowers, there's a lot of good food, a lot of street food you can check out, but I would highly, highly recommend coming out here. <laughs> 